Hey y'all, welcome back to the garage. Um, if you guys watched the last video, we were working on Plum Crazy there for Mark over at Twisted V Twin Garage. Um, we had an issue with the uh, cam. Uh, we've come to find out that it, it is out of time. Um, uh, Mark did not assemble this motor. Another guy assembled this motor. Uh, didn't really know what he was doing. We think he just put it in. Um, don't know. Uh, luckily, we didn't have a starter on it or anything and tried to turn the thing over. Um, uh, that would have been really bad. So uh, we're going to pull the motor out, put it on the bench, and uh, we're going to do, do, the, do the right thing. Do, you know, get to cam in time. So. Hang out and uh, we'll uh, get this pulled out and get it on the bench. All right, y'all, we got uh, all the external stuff pulled off. Uh, we got the clutch driver and everything, so we gotta pull that off because we gotta put the uh, degree wheel on that end. We got the uh, starter pulley pulled off the front because we gotta pull the cover here off. Um, got the valve covers off. Got the rockers loose on that side. Uh, we're ready to uh, take the valve springs off put our test springs in they're just a short light uh, spring you put in here so you can run the degree set the degree on the cam um, and the lift so uh, yeah um, we're ready to pull this cover off um, we're just uh, getting ready to do that good thing about this is there was never any oil put in the engine from when they put it together so we shouldn't have a mess so, yeah, um, we're good to go. So, um, I'm going to grab the stuff we need to finish pulling this thing apart. And uh, we'll get it pulled apart. All right, y'all. i got my test springs put in. Uh, they're just real soft springs just to hold, the, hold everything in position, keep the valve shut. Um, that way, when we put the dial indicator on here and we got to rotate the cam to you know bring it open you know x amount of thousands at however many degrees um we're not fighting the the uh valve spring but uh yeah we also got the uh, degree wheel on here got it zeroed out <clears throat> put the uh, piston stop in and rotated it and got it back and forth until i got the uh the uh degree wheel in at zero make sure the piston was at true dead top center so next thing we got to do is pull the cover off and uh, see what we got with the cam so um, I'll get that pulled off and we'll get you guys back all right y'all um, I went ahead and took all the bolts out of it except for the top two um, that way when I pop it off if it pops it doesn't like fall completely out but uh uh, let's go ahead and crack this nut and see what kind of a gooey center we got. So, oh, that's not uh, that's not copacetic. Um, that thing just slid right away. So, all right, well, let me get my tool here. Get these bolts out. Now I am going to take my long tool here. Get it down in here and hold back on the cam. And get my light here and make sure that we're on the back side of the cam here. Okay, yep. I don't want, I don't want the cam coming out with the with the uh, closure plate. All right. Alright y'all, um, I don't know if y'all can see, 
there is a dot right there on the on the uh, crank and I think what he did is there's a zero right there I think he lined those two up thinking that it was either that or this these two little dots right here thinking that you know that's it's gonna be in time well This is a custom ground cam, and it's adjustable. They don't, they don't adjust it when they make it. They grind it, and they'll bolt a cam gear on, and it's up to you to uh, get the thing uh, degreed in. Um, they don't, they don't preset them. So. Uh, because it's a two-piece, the cam back there, and then the, this gear, that's two-piece. That's what all these bolts are for. So, so yeah, um, that's, I'm assuming that's what, what's what happened. So, um, let me get my cam crank fixture and get it bolted on. Um, I might clean up some of this gasket sealer and stuff around here first. And then I'll uh, get that uh, fixture on there. And we'll get to... Uh, degree in this cam in all right y'all all right y'all uh before we get to degree in this cam uh i am going to pull this cam all the way out uh because up here on top this is the governor arm hole uh, the governor arm goes down through here um i need to tap and plug this and i also need to plug this hole uh, i've got the taps to do this or the plugs to do that and i got the tap to redraw and tap this and I don't want to get anything down in the motor so like I said I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out pull this cam out and we'll get to uh, doing that first all right y'all uh, these are the plugs we're gonna be using uh, I do get them off Amazon they're just eighth inch pipe plugs and I'm gonna start out here We're going to thread one into this hole. Uh, we're just going to thread it in now without any sealer just to uh, plug that hole so we don't get any burrs or, any, or any, anything in there. So, Okay, there's that one. Now uh, I'm going to drill this and it's an 11 30 seconds drill bit. Um, you can do them in metric. Um, I just find it's easier to do them in standard you know, pipe thread because that's standard pipe, so might as well just do this one in standard pipe too. Got me a nice towel down here to catch anything. Falls, got the head covered up. So. Alright, there's that. And then we're going to take our pipe tap. Wherever I laid it down here at, there it is. I just threw it on the floor. Take that, stick it down the hole, get it started. And we're just gonna. Now I don't tape, tap all the way through, <coughs> I just tap it down. Till I get some good threads started, and that way when I put that plug in, it kind of locks it in place. So, because pipe thread is tapered anyway, so. Alright, there's that. And it taps real nice because it's aluminum. All right, there she's all tapped, ready to go. Um, I'm gonna get my rag out of here because it has stuff in it. Got a little bit over there, a little bit out here in the crank. Wipe anything down here in the bottom, just in case we got a little dust. 
with cleanliness, y'all, when you're doing these, doing any kind of engine work, you gotta, you gotta keep them clean. So, all right. All right. Let me, uh, All right, that's all nice and cleaned out. Let me grab some sealer and we'll get these uh, sealed and locked in here. All right, y'all. Um, this is what I use. This is a Permatex high temperature thread sealant. It's made just for, you know, high temperature engine stuff. I just put some around the uh, plug there. Get her started in the hole. Now this is this isn't very deep on this one, on this cover. So we're just gonna run her in there. There's that. All right. Gonna grab another one of these little plugs. Plug here, some more thread sealant. Drop it on the floor. Make sure there's no dirt on it. Oh, the struggle was real, y'all. I'm almost out of this stuff. So it's hard to. Alright. Get that tipped in there. Get her started. Get her turned in there. So I can't turn it by hand no more. Now, I have seen other people tap this bigger and use it as a vent, crank, crankcase vent. That works great. So, all right, there's those two plugs in. My little rag here. We're gonna clean this up a little bit on the top. And this this engine wasn't cleaned very well. So so all right, there we go. Um, <coughs> got those installed. No oil is gonna leak out. So now we can push our lifters back up in the bores, and we can slide the crank in there. So. Or cam, I'm sorry, not crank. Crank's already in it. We can slide the cam in. So, all right, y'all. Um, bring you back when we get the uh, cam put in. All right, y'all. I got that cam tool all back, you know, mount fixture there all back in. Um, it's actually been an hour or so because that cam was like way out. Um, uh, trying to get it set to where I can loosen these bolts and rotate it to get my lift and I've got this all set up um, but yeah um, uh, I've got the, uh, the crank set where it's supposed to be and uh, so but uh, I think uh, we're gonna end the video here uh, we'll go into I, that way I can get into a little more in depth of degrading the cam in uh, in another video kind of dedicate the video just to that and then uh, but uh, yeah we got it all set up we're ready to go um, I just got to pop a battery in my in my dial indicator there that's actually not the digital dial indicator but anyways um, I'm rambling it's getting getting late so all right all right y'all i'm gonna end the video here it's getting late i'm getting tired i don't want to make any mistakes degrading this thing in plus i gotta get this video edited and uploaded and all that fun stuff so uh we're gonna end it here but uh the next video will be basically a, a video dedicated to degrading in the cam uh, and showing how how that's done uh try to do like kind of a step-by-step -step deal so appreciate you all for watching if you like this video 
and like the content, please hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel. Do the subscribe thing, ring the bell. You know it all. Um, leave me a comment down there in the bottom. Uh, but uh, love y'all and uh, we'll see y'all on the next one.